Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. What's up guys, this is Theo from Fino Concept and today we are going to create something like this in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just open up our application. In case you missed this tutorial, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below as well as a few cards so that you can watch it before you miss it again anyway so uh let's just begin with today's tutorial i'm just going to close this up we are going to be using the same exact image from our previous tutorial which is this image and basically what we are going to do is create a black and white background on top of this colored image so let me just enhance this image by going to filter and I'll go to camera raw filter. Uh, just in case you don't have this, then probably you are not using the latest version of Photoshop and you are messing out. Sorry, but eventually that's the entire truth. Okay, so uh, I'm going to enhance this by increasing the clarity and probably the exposure as well. I like my images being very bright so probably um, just about this is enough I don't want to inc go into too much into editing in case some of you don't have it so the first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this background so click and drag onto the new layer icon or just Control J to do that and we are going to create a selection around this particular image or the our subject so as always, I'll tell you to use the pen tool because it's the best tool to create selections. But since it's a long process and this is a tutorial, I'll just use the quick selection tool, even though I wouldn't recommend you do that. So let's just create a quick selection around this. Uh, with quick selection, you don't actually get the um, details you actually need. Just going to create some random selection for you. It's not going to be perfect. So as always, guys, use the pen too. Okay, uh, so let's just create a selection. Let's just create a selection around this. Uh, let's bring some part of the bag. Mm. I really want to do this as fast as I can. And this isn't going as fast as I want because the image size is probably too big and my computer can keep up yeah yeah in case you are wondering what short key that is is control alt and I that's that's going to bring up your image size or better still you can go to edit sorry image and go to image size that's the short key alt control i control alt i same thing okay so um oh steven hurry up <laughs> i mentioned my actual name <laughs> you know what let's just let's just work with this let's just work with this okay so uh this part let's take this part out so holding now alt i'm going to deselect that part and i'm going to create let's hide the background so that we see our selection i'm going to create a layer mask from this so with the layer mask you see we have the background missing and we have just this one so uh let's let's apply this layer mask so you can see the image has no background now the first thing we are going to do is make this background black and white you can do this by going to image yeah with this layer selected of course image adjustment then go to black and white which is right here that's going to tone down everything but i don't prefer that option i just like going to the adjustment panel and clicking on black and white here um 
I prefer this because at any point in time, I can make changes to the image and it's not going to be affected. But with the other one, the black and white is going to be on top of this actual image, like it's going to affect it. So I can't even undo once we've done that. Okay. So let's get back to where we were. So basically this is what we have. We have a black and white background and a colored image on top, but this isn't looking as nice as you expect. So what we do is we will change our foreground color to black and we are going to create a gradient overlay on top of it. So gradient, let's say gradient overlay, just gradient on top of it and change it to radial and reverse it. So we have black moving to transparent from here and just increase the scale to about thousand. So uh, we are going to bring our, let me reduce it so that you see what I'm doing. We are going to bring our transparent um, part over to the face so that the black and white is just affecting the other colors. Instead of dragging it probably here or something, drag it around the face. And now let's increase it. Okay, and we are going to add in uh, curves. So adjustment panel, go to curves. Basically, we are trying to darken out the background. So right about here should do just fine. And once we are done, we are going to blur the background. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur, about five or three, depending on, as always, it depends on you. So I'll go with three. And once I'm done, I'm going to create another um, layer on top of it and that's going to be our color solid color you can make it gradient you can make it solid color let's try both so solid color I'm going to make it blue uh, it's not showing as blue because uh, black and white is still on top so let me just click and put this on top so we have blue color and I'm going to change the color to color from here. Now this blue is too light, so let's make it darker. Okay, so right around here is fine. So we have this blue effect on top of our black and white. Now with the um, other one, let me just copy this color code. With the other one, the gradient I was talking about, if we hide this we can just go to adjustment panel click on gradient then click on the gradient up here make sure we select the first preset which is foreground to background and we make both uh, of them blue that blue we pasted probably we might make this one lighter or deeper depending on what you want so let's make it lighter instead and you see this effect dark blue blending to a much lighter blue you can change it to radial you can change it to whatever you want so i prefer radial bringing it on top here and once you are done you change the blend mode back to color and we have uh, quite the same effect just that one is i don't know you could say nicer than the other which I'm going to apply this to and basically that's it if you want to apply more layers onto this image to make it nicer just hold down control create the selection around this and probably you can add in a few curves so that's exactly what I'm going to do so increase the contrast and just reduce the darker part so this is before and after before and after basically that's how i created it so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of this video please don't forget to subscribe and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends because who knows if someone might need this even though you don't uh without that said thank you guys for watching this is theo from Fino concept and i'll see you guys in the next one